Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started. This is going to be for cancer. Oh no, my candle went out. I um, let me light this back up. All right. Okay, so let's get started. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have here awakening, breakthrough, and balance. Awakening, breakthrough, and balance for you. Then we have here boundaries, defense, and denial. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing sticky. You got boundaries, defense, and denial coming through. Let me get one more for cancers. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, we got here, ooh, growth, birth, and renewal. Who's that? All right, so the under our energy shows miscommunication, lies, and uh, misunderstanding. And then I'm seeing here communication, wisdom, and message. Someone's uh, there is a there is a grandmother that's coming through. There is a that you know what I'm getting here, and then I'm seeing Weaver, humanity, tribe, collective consciousness. I feel like um, there's something going on within a generation. Like there's something generational coming up. There's something very significant about a, a grandmother, but I feel like this is, it feels like this grandmother isn't here. So this could be like a grandmother or great grandmother or some sort of uh, significant woman, but this is someone that's not here. And I feel like whoever this person is looking to, I feel like this person is looking to communicate to you, but I feel like looking to communicate a message about their child it could be their daughter or their son but it feels like a daughter though or whatever this grandmother is looking to communicate a message about their child and it's a spiritual message like so I this which is making me feel like this this grandmother is not um, amongst the physical in this in this particular world and look, we got the third eye that's coming through. This this involves some sort of like higher information, intuit, intuitive information as well, spiritual. Yeah, because even right here, because I feel like see with the communication, and then it says here message. It feels like there's a misunderstanding in the family. There's been mis uh, there's been misunderstanding, miscommunication, and lies in a family. But I feel like a grandmother wants to get a message to someone. Hmm. What is that message? Okay, so I feel as though cancers, you're waiting for this breakthrough. Now, I talked about this in a previous reading. I feel like someone is getting a house. There's something about a house that's coming in. Because you can see the door and then there's the key. I feel like you guys are waiting for some sort of balance or some sort of breakthrough to take place. And I'm also getting here... Um, I don't know, it feels like whatever whatever it is when it comes to this house not letting anyone in. So it's like you're waiting for this house or you're waiting for something to happen. But whatever it is that you're waiting for to happen, I feel like you you have in your mind that you're not allowing anyone around you, certain people around you, certain family members around you. There's something going on about someone who is pregnant. There, there, there is some sort of correlation, Cancers, 
about your I feel like when whoever well yeah your mother I was gonna say whoever gave birth to you um your mother there is something about your mother being pregnant with you there was something going on and I feel like that's what part of what this um I feel like this grandmother wants you to know something to help you understand this mother or, some, or understand something about a pregnancy, about when you were uh, in your mother's womb. There was chaos. There was chaos. There was chaos. Look at that. Overwhelm, lost control, and confusion. So we got chaos, destruction, and renewal. Overwhelm, loss of control, and confusion. I feel like uh, when your mother, whoever, yeah, when your mother was pregnant with you, or maybe this is you when you were pregnant with with your child. I feel like there was. I feel like this mother during this pregnancy was overwhelmed. They felt lost. They felt confused. They were experiencing a lot of chaos and destruction around them. I feel like this person may have felt split. This mother, rather, may have felt split. Like, I feel like this mother did not want to be here. I feel like this was someone that was pregnant. And them, themselves, did not want to be living anymore. Because of some sort of turbulence that they were going through. This could have been a mother that may have experienced, uh, you know, some sort of trauma while they were pregnant or how they got pregnant or I because I'm seeing here you see that there's something that happened or something that was going on I don't I don't feel like it's I don't feel like it's talked about I don't feel like it was told or that it was talked about I feel like it's something that was buried whatever it is that this person was going through and I feel like they didn't know how to deal with it Does that make sense? Like someone was going through chaos and like I said, going through some sort of destruction. But I feel like at that time, there was a lack of understanding, a lack of consciousness. Because now the planet, I'm seeing planet, there's something about a shift in the planet. So there's a lot of, there's more awareness now than there was previously. And so I feel like at the time that this mother was pregnant with you, they felt lost because they didn't have that consciousness. They didn't have that awareness. They didn't, because you, if you look at social media, social media opens up a lot of doors, like to help understand certain things that were once not understood. And I feel like this person grew up, this mother grew up in an era where they felt lost and they didn't have anything to turn to or look to or have someone else to champion them or see that they weren't the only ones that were going through whatever it is that they went through. And I feel like this grandmother now, <clears throat> now I do want to say this mother is still in denial about whatever it is that they were experiencing around this pregnancy. It's a door that they don't want to open. I feel like they will take it to their grave with whatever chaos and destruction. Whether it was salacious or not, whatever that experience is, they don't want to talk about it. Um, there's something about this grandmother, though. Tell me about this grandmother that's coming through. The sun card. Baby. There goes a baby. I feel like light bringer. I feel like you were meant... I feel like despite whatever this... Um, whatever this mother went through, your grandmother is wanting you to know that you were, you were meant to be born. You were meant to bring light, not just about this. I don't feel like it was just about this mother, but to the world. You're meant to be some sort of light. 
And this grandmother is acknowledging that there is something significant about your birth, about you being here. Because I feel like you are going through your own journey. And you may feel abandoned and feel alone. Because we got here the next card, Journey. Life path. You're, 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 you've been going through some sort of journey. I feel like you've been waiting for this breakthrough. You've been waiting for your life to feel stable, to feel safe, to feel secure. You've also gone through an awakening. This grandmother is happy. And they're happy because you're meant to break some sort of like low vibrational energy that's been carrying, that's been carried through um, your mother and your grandmother. Because I feel like the grandmother experienced something. I'm getting, I'm now I say, now, I'm not saying this with judgment. I'm just telling you guys the energy that's coming through. I feel some sort of bitterness. So I feel like you got a mother that was bitter and then a grandmother that's bitter like it just feels like you know having like their own journey left them bitter and i feel like they they did not overcome that bitterness but you're meant to break some sort of bitterness around your journey you're meant to be happy because i don't feel like they live happy fulfilled lives you, however, you're meant to break that because it feels like it, it's been like a, a pattern, though, of generational, not like even the great grandmother. So it's like you're meant to have a happy ending because I don't feel like they're they're going to have or at least the one that's not here because I feel like the mother, if the mother is still here, they'll they'll be happy and get to see it through you. But as far as having it on their own, no. But the grandmother is coming through saying that they're happy that it's going to stop with you. Meaning that that bitterness, that chaos, that destruction. Because so, I feel like someone feels as though they sacrificed. They made some sort of sacrifices. And I feel like that led to some bitterness too. Because their life did not turn out the way that they thought it would. So this grandmother is coming through to acknowledge joy for you, a breakthrough. Yeah, we got here judgment. And I'm also getting here, there's something about judgment and the higher front. These are major arcanas. So this is something that's really significant, um, the message that's coming through for you. So this isn't going to be for everyone. And if it's not for you, that's okay. Don't try to force the message, but this is definitely someone's story. This is definitely someone's reading because um, these major arcanas just keep flowing through. And this, I, w I wasn't even supposed to be doing this reading, but I felt called to do it. So I feel like this grandmother was calling me to get this message to someone because I feel like we got generations and in each generation, there were certain traditions, certain beliefs with the higher front coming through certain um, principles and religion played the part too in certain things. So I feel like the judgment, I feel like um, there's something around. Hmm. How do I say that? Cause I feel like someone, you may get triggered, but I feel like, um, just click off if, if you get triggered after this okay. or if it's not for you that's fine but I feel like someone is being called there's like I feel like this grandmother's trying to you know like let yell you may even have been seeing signs but it's like please have compassion because I'm seeing the knight of cups in reverse and this person sitting here I feel like this um the energy that I'm feeling is like because you're not showing you don't want to show love and I feel like please have compassion have compassion for her because I feel like please show love because I feel as though this is someone that had never experienced it not in a way of which and this is not your responsibility I feel like it's just more so just you know relax your judgment or put the judgment aside and just have more compassion 
what you do with that would be up to you but that's the message that I'm giving like someone this grandmother is asking someone to please have compassion um, because I feel like there are certain belief systems like I said and certain traditions that are outdated now but back then they held on to them as if they were the law and there were certain laws actually that were different then than they are now so I feel like you know, someone may be judging this person because the consciousness isn't there like it is for you now. I feel like this person does not have that awareness and doesn't have that consciousness. Now, this is not saying you let this person, you know, walk over your boundaries and whatnot. But, and this isn't even saying you have to, you know, be friends with whoever this person is. Yeah, this is to you, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like um, this grandmother is saying, is asking to just at the very least relax your judgment on this person because it was different for them as it is um, now for you. It, it wasn't the same. And you were actually born to stop it. You were actually born to stop it. So that's why they're saying relax your judgment because you were brought into this world at this particular time with the a knowledge and the awareness that's being given to you. They're actually helping you. This grandmother and the other people and ancestors that came behind this grandmother that, you know, endured it as well. They're helping. You're meant to break it. So that's why I say relax the judgment because you too, for some of you, you were once a part of that generation as well. And you could have reincarnated for some of you to break that pattern. You could have experienced it in the past life. Queen of Cups, Cancer. So I'm just hearing, have, have a little bit of, like, at least relax the judgment when it comes to, because maybe you may feel, maybe your judgment of this person could be hard. And it could be hard only based upon what you know, but there's this grandmother saying there's more that you probably won't ever even know. And because this person will never talk about it. And I feel like it has to do with something with, with their level of awareness and their um, understanding. And I feel like it's just not there right now. And I honestly, I feel like, I feel like it will never, it won't be there in this lifetime for them. And I feel like they may have made a sacrifice to come into this lifetime so that you could come into this lifetime to break it. So they had to be the person to bring you into this world in order to break the curse that was going on in that lineage. I'm hearing chosen one, favored one. You were called. That's what I was hearing. The trumpet, the calling. The calling, this was a calling on your life. All right, anything else? Yeah, the hangman is in reverse. See, someone doesn't want to change their perspective. Um, yeah, it's like a standstill. Because let me tell you this, guys, what I'm feeling here. And that's why I was saying, like, some stuff has been drilled and program and condition and this isn't an excuse it just is that's just what it is and I that's why I was telling you guys I don't feel like this person is going to change in this lifetime I don't even feel like they're meant to change in this lifetime because they had to be this way in order for you to be your way you didn't get these boundaries and this strength by you know, it, it, by it just happening there the, you had to experience something. This person was your teacher. I feel like your mother, your grandmother, they, they were your teacher. And if it had not been for them, I feel like you wouldn't have some of the traits that you have because I feel like someone had to be weak in order for you to be strong. Someone had to be the opposite in order, you know what I'm saying? Like you had to see that contrast. So maybe you may have, maybe you have some sort of view and some sort of judgment around your mother, but you, that that's necessary so that you can be the opposite. That's why you had to have that mother. 
And this is, and when I'm speaking, this is spiritual. That's why these major arcanas keeps coming through. Because this isn't just like a, you know, a 3D family. This is feeling spiritual for you. Like this mother sacrificed spiritually. And again, I'm just telling you what I'm reading. You can take it or you can leave it. That's perfectly fine. I'm not forcing a message. It will resonate with you. It either resonates with you or it doesn't. But I feel like spiritually this mother... Uh, incarnated into this world to sacrifice their happiness so that you could have happiness in your lifetime and break the curse, break the cycle, break that generational curse and um, pattern that's been going on. I don't feel like their perspective around the things that they've gone through, the things that have been programmed into them is going to change in this lifetime, but it, it, it needs to be this way for you to be the opposite of that. Otherwise, if you were like them, the, the pattern would continue. All right, let's see. Anything else? Oh, we got here. We got here the devil. See? Toxic pattern. Toxic pattern. Victory. See? You were meant to overcome the devil. You were meant to overcome it. You were meant to conquer this devil. You were meant to succeed. You were meant to win. You see how that's what I'm saying. The other two, the other generations, I feel like they sacrificed so that you can come in and break this curse or break this toxic pattern in the family. All right. So let me, let me go ahead and close out with an advice card or with a message, which you... Let's see. Uh, I'm going to use this deck. So, um, yeah, I feel like that's what the grandmother is wanting someone to know. Is that the time was different and you were here. You're meant to be here because you're meant to break a toxic pattern that's been in this family for quite some time. Yep, see communication. Connect with your angels and guides to get valuable messages. This is someone's message. Even if it's just one, if somebody needed this message, because like I said, I, I had no intentions on doing a reading. I felt called to do it. So, anything for cancers. Spiritual protection. See, they're, they're, they're watching over you. It says, call an Archangel Michael to protect yourself. There's spiritual protection around you so that you can succeed, so that you can defeat the devil. Because the devil is trying to stop this from happening. And how is the devil trying to stop this from happening? Sending people into your life to distract you. Sending negative thoughts into your mind to distract you. Because if you break this pattern... Because you have to understand, we're all connected. We're all connected, right? So let's say if you break this pattern, then you go on to have kids. Your kids go on to have kids. And then, you know, they go on and touch other people's lives. That's waking up a lot, thousands of other people. Of course the devil's going to get mad. The devil doesn't want you waking up thousands of people. They want this world to stay in a low vibration. They don't want people to wake up. They want to keep construction. I mean construction. They want to keep everyone distracting and arguing amongst each other. They want chaos. The devil wants chaos to continue to consume this world. But you're a light bringer. You're the light bearer. The simple life. Life becomes easier as you put effort into being organized and minimizing. So life will come easier, I feel like, when not just about you being organized and minimizing, but I, it feels, well, yeah, but yeah, it feels like getting organized, but mentally and how you view or see things. And like I, hold on. Like I said, I feel like you're meant to clean up something. You're meant to organize and do something. You're meant to organize and clean up the chaos. You see, this is someone in like a laundry room and um, having to clean up things. And see, I feel like you were, your life may not have started out easy, but I feel like you're meant to, at the very least, walk into joy, 
where they did it. You're meant to clean something up. You're meant to organize the chaos that was left from the previous generation. Angels and guides. We got here. Call on your angels and guides. They can see that you need help. They're meant, they're here to help you because you're meant to break the cycle. You're meant to break the cycle. You got angels right here. Angels, right here. they're all around you. Guys, you, you, someone has a grandmother that's a guide. I'm going to pull one more. You're about to set sail because as I looked over, this is making me feel as though you're about to set sail. Like there is going to be some sort of breakthrough. But I feel like when this breakthrough comes, you're going to be holding your head up. Because right here, she's sitting here. And it looks like she looks a little bit down. But I feel like there's something about holding your head up. There's something about a change that's coming your way. And it feels liberating for you. It feels freeing and liberated. And that's what I'm saying. You get to experience that. That liberation, that freedom. They were they were bound. The previous generation, they were bound. But you are meant to spearhead the liberation in the next generation that's gonna that's gonna come after you. And your angels and guides are there to help you fulfill this plan, fulfill your assignment. And we got here boundaries. See, didn't we talk about boundaries? See, it says, yes, you set clear boundaries. You can still, like, I feel like whoever this reading is for, like, that's what I was saying. It doesn't mean that you can't have boundaries because maybe this person, maybe this mother or whoever, and just in general, people have tried to overstep your boundaries. But you're being called to use your voice and set clear boundaries with people when their behavior is unacceptable. Yes, you can do that. But I feel like because, because of what you've gone through and where you are now, I feel that this person or whoever that's meant to be in your life, but I feel like this is about this mother. They will accept those boundaries. Say yes. They will accept those boundaries. It is far better that you attempt to do something great and fail than to not try at all. Yep. I feel like this, um, whoever this mother is, I feel at this point, they will respect those boundaries. At the very least, because I feel as though you will you will be in a position. Now, I don't feel like it's right now, but when the breakthrough comes, I feel like you will be in a position to where you will speak clearly and you'll be speaking with a loving. You'll be speaking in a very loving way, because before you could have been holding back, holding back your love, not wanting to talk to this person, you know, take that how it resonates. It just looks like you were withholding back affection, holding back love. But I feel like. Once this breakthrough comes, you're going to feel liberated, you're going to feel free, and I feel like you're going to have more patience to be compassionate and speak clear about your intentions and speak from a place of love. And this mother will respect that. All right, I will catch you all in the next reading. Take care. I hope this helped whoever this reading was for. Bye.